understand that Owen Morgan uh, is set to retire from international cricket. There's been quite a lot written about that over the last few days, of course. This may well be announced tomorrow, uh, we think. So, well, World Cup winning captain, a wonderful career, uh, leading uh, the England cricket team. Looks set to end probably tomorrow. Moeen is alongside me, of course. Uh, is that a surprise to you, Mo? You were with him last week. Yeah, actually, it is, a, it is and it isn't at the same time. I think um, it, it is because, obviously, the World Cup not being too far away, um, end of the summer. Um, and he's, uh, for us, our perfect sort of leader. He's done an amazing job. He knows what it takes to win. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's just so different. Like It's strange to comprehend the side without him at the moment. Obviously, things move on and you kind of get used to it, but... Um, it, it is sad and I'm not surprised at the same time because he is a very selfless person and he's probably thinking about the team yes. more than anything um, and we've been so strong over the years and he probably himself feels like um, it's time to to uh, his time is done so uh, and he's given enough time for Joss uh, or whoever the captain's going to be to um, to uh, embed his, his way yeah Form. I mean, he hasn't had a great run of form recently. I always wonder if he thought, right, OK, we've got these few games up to the T20 World Cup. <sighs> it might be a better team without me in it. I mean, sometimes, you know, captains moving on later towards their career might look at that and, and think that's the case. Yeah, his form has always been, um, you know, a little bit up and down. When he's, when he's in form, he's in form for a while and he's unbelievable and he knows that. And when he's out of form, uh, he also knows that when he's out of form, it is quite lean and... Um, so and it, it does go for a while, but I think uh, he obviously feels like he's he's done with with touch cricket with the batting and and the team for him still comes first, which is which just shows, like I said, how unselfish he is and um, he's a remarkable he's done a remarkable job and um, yeah he's he's the best we've ever had for sure. Yeah. And, and why in particular? If you had to put your finger on. On, on why Morgan has been such a successful captain and, and leading, of course, up to the great World Cup final and, and, and so on. What would you put your finger on? I think to change uh, the mindset of a whole country of the way they play the cricket is, is a massive achievement and it's very difficult to do. I mean, uh, actually, Baz McCullum was a big influence on him. Um, they're obviously very good friends. Big mates, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, and, and to change everybody's mindset, the players' mindset, as well as the media, as well as... Um, the director of cricket ECB that in itself um, is, is a big big thing and it's not it's not easy I mean and then to be a very good captain on top of that uh, tactically on the on the field um, and to give the play look after the players because there was there were so many occasions where players would get out caught on the boundary and they're like you know man I should just hit a single or whatever and he's like no no next time you hit it out the ground like he was on that and we'd never come across a captain like that before so just little things like that and the way he managed the team uh, made sure the environment was good uh, in the dressing room which was very important um, yeah he did a, he's done a remarkable job yeah I think all the times and all the games and the tense situations that I've seen him in in the field he's never once looked ruffled he, he's, he's never sort of he's not one for sh clapping and shouting and saying come on and, he, and that sort of very calm decision making process yeah and uh, his he, him he and Alistair Cook are the only guys I've ever met and played with who, if, whether they get a hundred or a naught, they are exactly the same. You, you cannot tell. And he's like that. And um, honestly, you, you sit next to him, very calm, on the field. Very, never, I've never seen him over the five, six years I played with him lose his rag or anything like that. He's just always calm. If he, wants to, if he needs to be firm he will one on one with the players um, or even in front of the players he'll do it in a nice calm way and people respected that and his demeanour was honestly the best and, and I, I believe a captain then a really good captain also produces other good captains in the, for the future and uh, you can see around the group there's so many guys who are ready to be captain they he does do that. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty clear that Joss Butler will be the, the next in line. So what's, what's he going to bring then? I think Joss will... He'll have his own way and his own sort of style. He's also very calm and um, he would have learned so much um, off Owen, Owen Morgan. And, yeah, I think he'll bring a bit more probably 
to try and go that next step a uh, bit more um, I actually don't know what more he can bring but I think he'll bring his own sort of way in terms of a bit more innovation probably the way he plays a bit more um, even more you know uh, fearlessness kind of just go out just express yourself even more he'll try and take it to the next level whatever it looks like he'll definitely try and yeah. take it there's bound to be that the usual thing oh no it'll affect his form because he's in such extraordinary form at the moment but he'll be able to block yeah. that out uh -huh, 100% and, he's, and, and the great thing is he has done, he has captain before obviously when Morgs doesn't play uh, just captains when he's playing and he has got extreme experience now and he's been around the world franchise cricket all that kind of he's been part of this whole journey um, he knows what it takes he, he, and he's tactically fantastic Mo thanks for that then anyway so that's the news here that uh, we're expecting Owen Morgan to announce his retirement uh, from international cricket and therefore his resignation as uh, England one day captain uh, tomorrow probably and then uh, well we expect his successor to be Joss Butler to be announced and then of course uh, on they go heading towards immediately that World T20 World Cup that's the uh, that's the next in the sights in Australia in uh, October uh, November 